Marty, Team Daniels over there, a lot to be smiling about these days. Absolutely. Just a tremendous season and a tremendous two seasons in Baton Rouge. Dad, Jay, Mom, Regina, and of course, that kid, Jaden. Mom, I'm going to start with you. I do a lot of LSU football. Y'all know this. Uh, I see you at every game, so demonstrative, so engaged in your son's path, and you love him so much. How do you describe his perseverance and drive to be in this seat tonight? Thank you, Marty. Um, honestly, I can't describe it. I mean, the word perseverance is that kid, Jaden, if you want to say it. Um, just what he has in him, the passion he has, the resilience um, to really just continue day after day, hour after hour, minute after minute, um, to really be the best person, the best version of himself. Um, just watching him push, getting up at 5.30 in the morning um, to be great. I mean, it's really, it's, it's hard really to describe, but um, I, I see it in him every single day and he gets it from his parents. I love to see the emotion in your eyes. I see it. <laughs> Jay, you coached him since he was that tall. You've seen this journey and this evolution for this young man. How surreal is it as a dad who coached him to be sitting at the Heisman Trophy ceremony with your son? Man, it's uh, such a proud moment because it's something that when, uh, when he was born, he was old enough to walk. You hand him a ball, and I said, this is what you're going to do. And he took that ball and he ran with it. And, um, you know, from day one, to, you know, they, you know, we keep going on year after year, he had level after level, he kept exceeding and excelling, and um, everybody's proud of him. Our families came together, supported him. Our city, San Bernardino, supported him. Our area, IE, supported him, and he just took that and ran with him, and he, he went through a little perseverance and adversity, and when he moved on to Louisiana, Louisiana accepted him, and uh, he's done a great job, and we're so proud of him, because this is something he said he wanted to do. He told me, Dad, I want to play football, I want to be a quarterback. I'm like, no, man, I don't want you to be a quarterback. He's like, no, I'm going to be a quarterback. But, you know, he worked hard at it. He was uh, obsessed with it, and he was in love with it, and, and this is the, you know, fruits of, you know, labor from the work that he put in, and I know his mom is proud, I know I'm proud, and everybody's really, really, really proud of him. The quarterback thing worked out all right. <laughs> yeah, it did. It, it worked did. out all right. Yeah. And, and, and Jaden has been such a beacon for so many. You've been a light for so many people. When we were together about a month ago doing a feature for, for College Game Day, you said something to me that really stopped time, that your Heisman dream was really crystallized when Lamar Jackson raised this trophy in 2016. And there were two reasons, because he played like you and because he looked like you. And that really proved to you I can go do this. Jaden, there are millions of young people watching you right now tonight here on the Heisman stage, what would you say to them about their opportunity to persevere and do exactly what you've done? Man, if I could do it, they can do it. Um, always believe in yourself. Um, no matter the doubters, no matter what people say about you, you know, just believe in yourself. Uh, lean on your faith, you know, with Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, and, you know, just keep working. You've been special, man. It's Thank been great to, to spend time with you these last couple of years.